seafood, a $30 billion a year industry. Nutritious, fresh, delicious shellfish are among the most popular of seafood. Mussels, clams, and oysters are prepared in a variety of ways and can be found on the menus of many fine restaurants. One of the more traditional ways to enjoy shellfish is raw or partially cooked. Molluscan shellfish are highly perishable and demand special care by the wholesaler, distributor, and harvester. Strict monitoring of delivered product is essential to the safety and well-being of the seafood-eating public. While consumers continue to demand oysters, clams, and mussels, there is currently a growing concern as to the safety of these products. This videotape has been produced to inform wholesalers and distributors of the safety and proper manufacturing practices that should be demonstrated when harvesting, storing, handling, and shipping molluscan shellfish. Although this videotape is not replacing current regulations or industry practices, it has been designed to improve safety and reduce the potential for public health hazards. It is the responsibility of the wholesaler and distributor to purchase shellfish only from certified harvesters or seafood suppliers. These suppliers must adhere to regulatory guidelines on product handling, storage, and packaging in relation to sanitation requirements. During harvest, fishermen are only permitted to harvest shellfish from waters that are approved by the State Shellfish Control Authority. Shellfish illegally harvested from polluted waters are frequently to blame for shellfish-borne illnesses. In an effort to help protect against illegally harvested shellfish and to maintain accurate source identity records, the harvester or certified supplier is legally required to identify shell stock by affixing a waterproof tag to each container prior to shipment. When shell stock is sold in bulk, the harvester or certified supplier is to provide a transaction record prior to shipment. The tag or transaction record must consist of the harvester or supplier's name and address, the certification number, the harvest location, the date of harvesting, the type and quantity of shellfish. This documentation is extremely important to accurately identify the source of any contaminated shellfish should an outbreak occur. This also assures that the consumer is getting molluscan shellfish from approved harvest locations. If the shellfish are not properly tagged, health authorities may ban safe shipments or even seize safe lots. You, as the wholesaler distributor, have complete control over what is received into your facility. Carefully examine each and every container of shell stock prior to accepting the delivery. Some key points to look for when examining a delivery of molluscan product include never accept shell stock in damaged or unclean containers. Refuse any product with broken shells or persistent gaping, even after tapping the shell. This usually is a sign that the shellfish is dead or dying. If objectionable odors are evident, return the shipment to its origination. Do not accept shell stock with excessive amounts of mud or debris. Remember, the harvester is responsible for washing the shellfish and should do so immediately after the harvest. It is the buyer's prerogative to reject any shipment that does not satisfy his sanitation standards. Never accept shell stock in sealed plastic bags or any other air-restrictive packaging which will shorten the survival of live mollusks. The examination of product will help to ensure that you are purchasing safe, wholesome shellfish that you and your customers deserve. Due to the fact that human disease may be transmitted through the consumption of raw and or improperly cooked shellfish, it is critical that the wholesaler and distributor adhere to all of the sanitary requirements outlined in this program. Clams, oysters, and mussels can filter several hundred gallons of water containing microorganisms, marine biotoxins, or pollutants in short periods of time. Certain kinds of contaminants may cause serious illness to individuals with predisposed medical conditions or weak immune systems. In order to minimize microbial growth and product deterioration, which may lead to public health hazards, it is recommended that shucked meats be stored and transported at a temperature at or below 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Shell stock should be stored at 50 degrees Fahrenheit maximum, although 40 degrees is the preferred temperature, and be sure not to drop below 35 degrees Fahrenheit. All equipment and conveyances which come into contact with shell stock are to be properly maintained and cleaned. 
Ice used for packing must be made from an approved water source and must be stored and handled in a sanitary manner. As always, employee personal hygiene is very important during this phase of handling. Strict inventory rotation procedures should be instituted to ensure that the shellfish are shipped on a first-in, first-out basis. Proper receiving documentation must be maintained for a minimum of 90 days. In the case of a health hazard, health authorities must be able to trace the shellfish back to its origin. In order to repack shell stock or shucked meats, the wholesaler distributor must be certified as an official repacker as outlined in the National Shellfish Sanitation Program guidelines. These guidelines strictly state only clean and wholesome shell stock shall be repacked. All packaging must be clean and fabricated from safe materials. Repacking facilities and equipment should meet all applicable sanitation requirements. Proper temperature and environmental conditions must also be maintained to protect mollusks from becoming contaminated during repacking and storage. Employees who handle molluscan product must always wash their hands when returning to their workstation and also practice safe hygiene habits. The information from the original source tag should be documented on the repacking label and accurate records must be maintained for source identification. A durable waterproof label must be securely affixed to each container of shucked product and should display the following information. Certification number, fresh or frozen, sell-by date, or date shucked. Additional label information might include product type, product size or grade specifications, any unique attributes, color, odor, etc., any allowable defects such as water content. It is imperative that shell stock from different lots are not commingled. This would make tracing the source of contaminated molluscan product virtually impossible. It is common practice to utilize onion or potato sacks, wooden bushel baskets, plastic bushel baskets, or waxed corrugated cardboard boxes for packing and shipping of shell stock. From a sanitation perspective, reusable, easily sanitized plastic bushel baskets or one-time waxed corrugated bushel boxes are the preferred choice. Shellfish must be transported in a manner that assures continued product safety and wholesomeness. Trucks should be clean and properly maintained to allow free drainage, which would prevent cross-contamination of any product. Since fluctuating temperatures may be harmful to the product, any refrigeration units should be pre-chilled and maintained at the recommended temperature prior to loading the shellfish. Chilling of molluscan product is recommended as soon after the harvest as possible and the truck should not be considered as the primary chilling point. The National Shellfish Sanitation Program recommends the use of temperature recording devices on refrigerated shipments that are traveling long periods of time in warm weather. These devices may not be needed for short trips or for shipments of shucked meats or cold water shellfish which are packed in an adequate amount of ice. If the transport does not have a channeled floor, the shell stock shipments should be palletized on preferably non-wooden pallets. It is best if the entire cargo consists of only shellfish, especially when shipping shell stock. If the cargo is mixed, product placement, horizontal partitions and other means of product separation should be used to isolate the shell stock. Never place cargo below, above, or on packs of shell stock. Transaction records indicating the origin of the product must be maintained in a legible, orderly file. Purchases and sales must be recorded in a permanently bound ledger book or other methods approved by the state and maintained for a minimum of one year. The time, location, and persons involved with the final shipping transaction should be documented and returned to the wholesaler's files. We hope that this program has helped you to understand the importance of maintaining good purchasing, handling, and shipping procedures as they pertain to molluscan shellfish. By adhering to these procedures, you will be helping to reduce the potential health risks that are occasionally associated with the consumption of raw or partially cooked molluscan products. You have a responsibility to yourself and your customers to provide only the best clams, oysters, and mussels on the market today. If you would like more information about seafood safety procedures, consult the Manual on Shellfish Handling for Wholesalers and Distributors, or contact the Industry Activity Section of the FDA or the Food Marketing Institute.